Well, I'm Andreas Fanconi. I am a, a was a pediatrician. I'm 20 years retired now, so I'm a bit off <laughs> the actual pediatrics. My father was much more famous than I am. He was Guido Fanconi, and uh, he was for 35 years professor of pediatric in Zurich. Then came his successor, Andrea Brata, for another 25 years, and then I came as a pupil of Brata for 10 years, and now I'm 20 years retired. Uh, I am, consider myself as a pediatrician, general pediatrician. Nephrology is just one part of it. And how I came to nephrology by attending the famous course in Paris in 61, I think it was, done by Pierre Royer and René Habib. That was the beginning of pediatric nephrology, really. That's also the first time one talked about nephrology before one said kidney diseases. And there my interest came for nephrology. But in the hospital afterwards, I was first assistant in general pediatrics. And I did not consider myself as a nephrologist, but as a pediatrician. And then the first nephrologist in our hospital in Zurich was Ernest Luhmann, who has been trained in Paris and in America for nephrology, whereas I have never been trained in nephrology. It was just my special interest at my time. There were no schools of nephrology. The first one uh, occasion was in Paris, as I mentioned before, in 61. But my training was in the 50s, and then there was no nephrology known. And so I was always a pediatrician. I was then 18 years chief of the children's hospital or children's department in the hospital in Winterthur, 30 kilometers outside Zurich. And then for the last 10 years, I became successor from, of Andrea Boata as chairman in the Kinderspital in Zurich. But nephrology was never really my my field, it was just one of my interests. And so I'm a bit over, uh, how do you say, um, it's a bit difficult to answer here as nephrologist. I joined the ESPN because of my interest, but not because I was really a full-time uh, nephrologist. What was inspiration for your career to start in pediatrics? In pediatrics? Yeah. Why have you chosen for pediatrics <coughs> and not for another specialty? Well, I started, of course, medicine, studied medicine and wanted to do internal medicine. And that's why I spent two years in Geneva with Professor Mack, who was an internist with quite some interest in nephrology. But there, <coughs> I was a little bit disappointed. It was mainly geriatrics one had to do. And sometimes a young patient came, 30 years or 40 years old, but usually they were all old people over <laughs> 60, and that was not quite what fascinated me. And as I had known quite well pediatrics from my father, and also from uh, one of his, of his uh, pupils, Ettore Rossi in Bern, who fascinated me very much. I thought, well, maybe I, I have, a, have a look at pediatrics. 
and I wanted to go to Rossi in Bern, but he told me, oh no, if you have a chance to go to your father, you should go there, because he is so unique. And so I was, the last two years of my father, I was one of his assistants, and then became first assistant by his successor brother. Okay, it wasn't that difficult for you to, to, to work for your father? Uh, to be made not in his really, channel? because both of us tried very much not to give me a privileged position. Okay. Okay. And if you look at the main uh, changes in uh, uh, pediatrics, so maybe pediatric neurology, uh, during the time you were the chief of the service of pediatrics in Zurich, what would you say maybe in few words, like what were the main accomplishments or achievements or changes in treatment at that time? You mean in the 10 years I was? Yeah. yeah. That's difficult to say. <laughs> well, there was much more subspecialization than it used to be. And is it a good and thing it's or a bit is it a bad split. thing? Yeah. Um? Is it a good thing or is it a bad thing that there is a subspecialization? Well, it, it's a necessary thing because the knowledge increased so much that one can't be general pediatrician, pediatrician and know enough in every subspecialty field as it was possible for my father. Now, it's getting so wide and complicated that you have to be happy if you are good enough in one field, in one subspecialty. And maybe say a few, a few wishes for the, for the future pediatricians, pediatric nephrologists? Well, one still needs a lot of pediatricians, general pediatricians, and the main educational um, challenge or work of a children's hospital is to train young pediatricians, whereas nephrology, like all the other subspecialties, are subspecialties, and they only one only needs a few of these in the centers. But what the hospital has mainly to train are pediatricians afterwards to be practicing outside. Mm 